My name is Holly Gilloff, and I'm an organ recipient. And have I got a story for you. Seven years ago, I took an ambulance ride that I technically did not survive. Eight days later, I regained consciousness in the hospital to find out that my family and friends had been in from all over the country to say goodbye and plan my funeral. My heart journey began at the age of 49, following a routine physical when I was diagnosed with heart disease that I would eventually not survive. I had no discernible symptoms. I had two children in college, a very active lifestyle, and as far as I knew, I was perfectly healthy. We managed the disease with medication, and when that no longer worked, there were surgeries, until finally my heart would no longer pump. Seven years ago, I received the gift of life, my own personal miracle. I had a heart transplant. I came across a note from my grandson the other day. He was four at the time he wrote it, and he was visiting the hospital while I was waiting for my transplant. It's very short. It said, Dear Grammy, sorry you're sick. Hope you don't die, as a four-year-old would. Well, you and I'm still here, and life has afforded me the opportunities to retire, spend time with my family and friends, travel abroad, and find a way to give back through volunteering. Every transplant needs a donor, and I'd like to introduce you to mine with a passage from a letter that his mother wrote to me. Dear Holly, my name is Janet, and I'm the mother of Brian, your heart donor. While this past year has been difficult, it has given my family great pleasure knowing that Brian is alive through you. Not only is he continuing to live life, but he is giving you and your family a second chance at making memories, which is exactly what Brian would have wanted. I am thankful every day for my gift and filled with gratitude for Brian and his wonderful family. But I'm one of the lucky ones. Every day, people die while waiting for the gift of life. If you haven't already, please consider donating. You can register with your local Motor Vehicle Bureau or sharelifemidwest.com.